Good morning, everybody. It's uh, Wednesday morning. I had Tuesday, Wednesday off, and uh, I didn't accomplish much at all yesterday. I uh, was pretty lazy. I got up, went and bought stuff to get stuff to do to the bus, and um, I came home, took like a four-hour nap during the day because I was up all night watching TV the night before, so I was really, really uh, lazy. But today, I got to help a neighbor out down the road. He's got a big field out back behind his house, and um, his mower broke. And he mentioned it last night when he stopped by, so I told him I'd run down there and do it for him. Um, it's a big one, it takes me a while, so I'm gonna go do that, come back, mow all my yards, and then hopefully do the small stuff I wanted to do to my door. I wanted to make my door, I'm gonna make stops on the back to where once I trim this door out and finish it, I won't be messing it up like right here. I'm gonna put a stop like here and up higher, drill through with a bolt, and leave the bolt sticking out about an inch with the nuts on each side to where I could adjust it and make that to where when you open it right now, that's why it broke, it opens and it hits. And I don't know why it does that. I know there's a lot of slop in here. There's adjustments for, for, the, for that, but everything works through the top. It's a really weird design, but it's pretty cool how it works. I just can't figure out how to make it any tighter to where it won't do that. The only thing I can do to adjust this door is to put stoppers to where it doesn't go all the way back. That's easy. And then I can paint that. Trying to paint that. I got all the stuff for it. Caulk to caulk all that. I'm gonna paint all this stuff black and put my chrome trim up I got in there. Um, I went a little bit bigger than what I originally was wanting to do, but I just thought it'll help me hide some of my, my mess ups I got. I just got this. Uh, Carl's custom chrome, it's inch and three eighths, eight feet of it. And like I said, I'm just gonna swear off that window or do the top and bottom line and then maybe throw a piece on the bottom of the door to match it. But I'm gonna do, hide this metal bar with the bubbles. I'm gonna have it go straight across both of them and then straight across here to clean this up and to make it kind of look more like a window to where hopefully if I were to get pulled over, the police would see that I have that at least. And I, I keep putting off this caulk. I said in the last video what I was gonna do is finish it. These steps are basically done being waterproofed and fixed. I just need to do the black caulk around the back part of it. I just figured I'd do that with everything else I gotta caulk. Cause I'm gonna definitely caulk this window too. It's the plexiglass. It squeaks, can't get rid of that sound. So I'm gonna fix that with the caulk hopefully. And then another noise I've had, which I've really got these doors quiet down a lot, but I noticed this right here that rivet and I hear that noise a lot when I'm driving constantly hearing this so I'm gonna drill that out put a self tapper through there drill this out put a self tapper in there and I'm gonna make sure I have it up to where I see these bushings are lined up straight to where it'll be like it's supposed to be and that'll really take care of these doors I've already got this one tightened up with the screws I put in the back side of that when I pulled all this trim off and then I caulked it when I put it back together, so that'll be water, you know, sealed again like it was. And then I'm gonna seal the bottom corners really well. And then also down in here on both sides, I'm gonna use that black caulk flex seal and just load it up in the corners where it can kind of run down, the water will run down off of there instead of sitting. And then that'll take care of my door situation. And then Sunday, I will, I should have the, the uh, track I need to where I've got lots of metal, I got some metal there, I got a bunch of metal there, different ones, but I'm out of the solid track. I got some, like there's a piece of the solid track right there. That's what I need more of. I've got that and like some small pieces there. It's not enough to do what I need to do because my kitchen is gonna be crazy. It's changed from the original design to a something else to something else. I think I've got my idea now and uh, Refrigerator will be right there when you walk in, you'll see that, and I'll have that. I want it to call in the back, I want someone to drink I'm driving a lot. But we'll see how it goes for the day. I'm just showing amp life here. Other amputees out there that might be depressed or bored and having a crappy life. I was there when all this happened to me three years ago. So I'm just trying to show you guys, you can still live a normal life and have fun. Just gotta get out there and do it. Be happy you're still here. Be happy you're still able to do these things and do it. Do something.
<laughs> all right guys so we'll see here when i uh get down there how bad this yard's gonna be he said it was mowed like a week and a half ago but he kind of acted like it was pretty bad so i'm gonna go to the gas station fill up my gas can i've got my blower everything on there so we're ready to go
What's going on? Well, I got that done. It took me about an hour and 20 minutes to do it. This is the front side yard here. And then the field is way back behind that. Did all that. It was uh, really, really thick. But this mower doesn't do a bad job for a 42 inch, uh, 21 and a half horsepower little mower. It's not a commercial mower, but the commercial mowers chop this stuff up where you don't even see it. They got more blades, they're bigger motors. Uh, but this thing does a good enough job for me. I need to sharpen my blades, I can tell that for sure. But I'm gonna head back to the house, uh, fill this thing up, mow all my yards so I can hopefully have time to work on the bus, tinker around and get that stuff done. So we'll see, be right on back. Well, there we go. I've got the door pretty much almost done. I got some touching up to do. I did all the trim around it, all that silver trim is now black. Um, fixed all my lines and then I added this chrome molding to make it look more like a window. That's, this part isn't tinted. So I'm gonna caulk, I, I swear I've been putting this caulk off for a while. I'm gonna do the insides of the doors. On the bottom, I still gotta do the bottom. I sanded them, I gotta still caulk the bottoms and all that. I got all the caulk that I didn't get the rest of them out, out. So now I'm gonna sweep this. I wanna try to caulk it now. I'll tell you this one, then I'll tell you on the next video. Oh, I got a caulk still, but I'm tired of it. We got everything screwed down good. And as far as that goes, that's it. I'm happy with it. it looks like I got a new door. All that black matches the other windows to where it doesn't look so weird. Looks like it's supposed to be like that. I got my stupid cart. I got this cart Chuck gave me. Oh, it's Chuck, but I started using it, and now I like work off this thing. Got all my paints, thinners, soaps, rags, screws, nuts, bolts. I keep putting stuff back when I'm done working on something and think, well, this can stay here, and this can stay here. And slowly, it's to where when I empty the tools for the day, it's still got a bunch of crap on it. But it's nice because I can roll it in and out like it's about to rain. So, I'm about to have to put this stuff up. I'd like to get this caulk part done though. Um, I'm happy the way that door turned out. I know these videos aren't showing much progress, but a little bit here and there is what's gonna get this project done. And especially this weekend if I get that uh, track. I got a call about that today. But um, yeah, I've got all my grass done mode. I've worked on this. I didn't video it, I was going to but my neighbor came over and helped me get the top because I was only able to get about to, up to about the top two feet I couldn't reach. So he taped all that off and painted it for me. The two coats. Um, I'm happy with it, real happy. Once I get it all sealed up and I still gotta take that, uh, damn it, I wanna do it now too, but it looks like it's gonna rain. It won't take me long. As long as my self tapper is the right size, I should be able to drill the drill drill one. Yeah, I should be able to drill one rivet out. I should be able to drill that one out and put my self tapper in. I got a big fat self tapper to go through there, and then drill this one out. And as long as my self tappers aren't thicker than that, I should be good. Just put it in the existing hole and. I don't want to rivet it. I don't like rivets. I think that's just a bad deal for that because now it's sagging. I'm gonna have it straighter and then replace this and then everything will be nice and snug. It's it's so much quieter than it was, but I'm constantly hearing that. And then I'm hearing the squeaking over here a lot, which the caulk will help get rid of that, the rubber caulk I'm putting in there. But there we go. I actually, I'm getting somewhere with this door. I'm, I'm, I'm debating on putting that chrome that I got for the window part on the bottom and on the top. I'm not sure about that. I just think it'd be too much almost. It would help me out on cleaning up my doors the way uh, all the trims all whacked out. And I got some bad spots in the tent, but the guy, he didn't want to tent those. He, he didn't mind everything else, but those he was kind of bothered with because we weren't taking them out. The right way to do it, I'm gonna take them out and put them in, but I wasn't doing that. But it turned out good. Only thing is, I'm not sure if I'm gonna put the chrome strips on the top and bottom. I've got 
enough there to do it on the bottom of the cart here. Sure I do. One, two, I probably got exactly enough to do it actually, it was eight foot. So, we'll see when I'll get on that. But that's it guys. Um, all you amputees out there sitting around the house watching TV, whatever's wrong with you, and you're sitting there feeling sorry for yourself, get out, quit it, quit that. Get out and do something. Make a plan, set a goal, and every day try to do something that can help you get to that goal. I know a lot of you don't have the money and aren't as fortunate as I am to have my income that I complain about which it's not bad for what it is, but there's always some way to do something to have fun and be happy. That's what life's all about. You only live once. If you're in a bad marriage or relationship, go home every day pissed. That's, you only live once, man. One time you got this. You might as well have fun and enjoy it. Be happy. I really truly believe if you think positive enough, even in bad situations, if you have a positive attitude, even at times that you're feeling negative, just try to get some kind of positive saying out of it for yourself to say, just positive. I think you live a positive life. If you're somebody that's gonna be a Debbie Downer and always complaining, you're, you're, you're gonna always feel like that and feel like a complainer. You're gonna be known as a Debbie Downer and uh, live a shitty life. So think positive. I have bad things happen to me daily. And I think, try to crack a positive joke out of it or just think, hey, it's all right. Don't let it, don't let it get to me and let it go. And at the end of the day, I'm happy watching TV with my dog and wake up, my eyes open every day. I'm thankful for that. I'm happy every day I open my eyes, just like all you should be. You never know if you, your parents, your sister, your wife, husband, brother, sister, you never know. Click of a finger, man, it's over. And you never talk to him again never get to see him again and uh it changes your whole life it's changed my whole life my mom's died at 53 my dad was 51 i had a younger sister that was like 20 when that happened when my mom died my other sister was like 10 when my dad died and that was hard on him and uh anybody that knows my family knows what i got going on now and not me but one of my sisters needs to get her shit together but I'm not going to talk about that. I will say that drugs can ruin your life. I've, I've watched it happen to so many people, especially people close to me, and it's sad, especially when there's kids involved. I just don't ever want to be like that. I've had issues in life. I've, I'm not perfect. I'm far from perfect. I've done a lot of things in life that I shouldn't have, but I've gotten past them. I've dealt with my demons and some people get into these, this heroin and fentanyl and all this crap and it just is ruining their lives. Meth, I mean, and they're choosing, it gets them so messed up that they're choosing that over their kids and having their family back. And it really, really bothers me. I mean, I've, I've struggled with it with people in my family and it's, uh, it's hard, but I try to be there for the kids and let the kids know that Uncle Todd loves them and I'm always gonna be there for them. And, Hope it the best, but I just, it's bad. I've watched so many, so many people ruin their lives the last several years over drugs, and it's just off. I don't, I'm not trying to make this video about that, but I'm just bringing it up, talking. I'm a double amputee, trying to make the best of my life. I lost my career and everything I had, and I'm just trying to be happy. I want to make friends and do fun things and just be happy. That's all I want to do is be happy. I'm not gonna be a downer. I don't want to be a downer. I don't like feeling like people, when they see me, feel like, oh, poor Todd. Oh, I don't like that feeling. I like, I'd rather people, like, oh man, look at him. He goes out riding on that mower all the time and he's always doing stuff. He's got a bus driving around, goes wherever he wants. I'd rather it be like that instead of the, the Todd, the sad Todd, the, moping around, attitude tied. I don't, I don't want to be that guy. I don't want people to feel sorry for me either. I appreciate the people that help me. People go out of their way a lot to help me when I go places. 
Sometimes it's harder for me to get through the doors when people are standing there on the inside trying to hold it open because now I gotta worry about running over their toes. I appreciate that they're helping me, but it's actually harder unless you're on the outside, but positive thinking. I don't get mad about it. I'm still thankful to try and help me, but well, everybody, I'm uh, gonna shut this down and uh, give me something to eat. And I hope everybody's having a good day. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel on YouTube, please subscribe. Please hit like, follow me. I'm trying to get that built up. Just wanna hit the road, everybody can see what I'm doing. So uh, like, subscribe, follow me. And um, if anybody wants to help me out, help me out, that's fine, I appreciate it. If those of you don't, don't. But that's just part of the game of what you do when you're trying to do what I'm doing and trying to get your YouTube going and trying to build the bus with help. But like I said, I have the Cash App, Facebook Messenger, uh, Venmo, PayPal, and Zelle. Um, I'm not on here begging. I'm just on here throwing it out there because a lot of people out there have already helped me and I'm so very thankful and I wouldn't be where I'm at with this project. I have that nice refrigerator going there. Hopefully this weekend I get that framed up. But it's got a nice freezer. Place to put all my stuff, my butter, my vegetables. You know how healthy I eat. <laughs> but that's it, guys. So hope everybody has a good day. Remember, be happy and don't take any wooden nickels. No wooden nickels. Those are bad. Peace.